What's up everyone? My name is Ryan from Little King Goods and today I'm going to be talking about sewing machines. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. So when I first started out in the leather craft world, I was doing everything by hand, meaning stitching by hand, skiving by hand, everything by hand, which was great. It was great to learn that way and I totally suggest learning everything by hand. But there comes a time in a man's life, there comes a time in a crafter's life when we just need to kind of grow and expand. So I needed to get a sewing machine and like many of you, it was a little scary because machines are expensive, machines are all different, there's different makes, different models. There's so many things in the sewing machine world that is just so hard to get your mind around. So hopefully in this video I can kind of push you one way or the other, or maybe just to a machine that you think would work best for you. Unfortunately, there's not one machine that can do it all, but I've found that there is a machine out there that can really help with maybe just sticking with one machine for now. And if you get more specialized down the road, you can kind of figure things out later. Let's talk about the machines I have in my shop and maybe it'll help you with figuring out what you need. All right, let's get to it. Wow. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to find out is what you're going to be using the machine for. I make a lot of bags in my business, so I found that I needed a machine that had a long enough arm or a long enough spot between the main post and the needle. I needed that space to be really, really big because when I'm trying to get the material through the, the needle here, if I'm having to fold it up and scrunch it up so much, um, it could make the leather look a little bit worn and rugged and just not look as nice as if I you know, had a bigger spot to be pushing the material through. So that's one thing that I really, really appreciate about this really long uh, arm here on this cylinder. Also for making bags, uh, trying to get in those corners and those gussets, um, trying to stitch those up on a flatbed machine just does not work very well. You can do it, but you're having to fight your material and machine the whole time. And it just, uh, there's an easier way to do that. And that's with the cylinder arm machine. And I really recommend if you're going to be making a lot of bags or just, you know, hard to get places in, in different sort of um, projects that you're working on, I suggest 100% getting a cylinder arm machine. That being said, if you need to make wallets or if you need to make uh, journals or things that you can, you know, put on a flatbed machine, there's, a, there's a, a fix for that too with this machine here. You can add the flatbed attachment. This little bad boy right here, you can add the flatbed attachment really, really simply. You just you know put it on there, put a couple screws, and you've got a flatbed machine. So I think a cylinder arm with a flatbed attachment is probably the most versatile machine you can have without owning several machines. I wish I would have known this before I bought a flatbed machine. Um, because now I'm, I have two machines um, that I could really just use one and uh, I'd probably save money by not purchasing another machine. So another thing I wanted to talk about is that there are different models within the cylinder arm family. This one is a heavy duty stitcher so it can go through really really thick uh, layers of material and I needed something that would quite easily glide through uh, multiple layers because I do like heavier duty satchels and bags and stuff like that so I wanted to make sure that this machine could handle it. It might be overkill for what I use it for and I'm starting to realize that but I'm glad that I have the extra torque, the big big speed reducer and then you know just the, the, the motor behind it, the power that I have behind this machine. It just makes going through leather super super easy and I like that. There's another model especially for Texo, there's a 2700, um, which is more of a, a lighter duty or medium duty uh, sewing machine. And that would be great for doing, you know, lighter weight bags, um, especially if you've got the flat bed attachment for that. You could do um, wallets, you can do journals, you can do so many different things with it. But tell you the truth, um, for what I need it for, this machine is perfect. You know, maybe in the future I will get another smaller one, like a lighter duty one, like the 2700 that Texo sells. Um, but for now, I like using this guy because of the long reach of the arm. So, 
let's get to some sewing examples and I'll show you just what this bad boy can do. So one thing that I really love about this sewing machine is that it's got this foot pedal that you can push down to raise or lower the presser foot. And that's really, really helpful, especially keeping yourself, you know, hands free or you don't have to use your knee. I mean, the knee lift is really good too, but I just love the feeling of the, uh, the foot pedal to raise and lower the presser foot. So I'm just going to put two layers of uh, six to seven ounce uh, veg tan leather in here. And I'm just going to sew through it because I use a lot of heavier material when I'm making bags. So I'm just going to do a little, little test run here for you guys. Also, it's got a nice little drop down edge guide that I just love using. So we're gonna put that down. We're just gonna start sewing through some, uh, some leather. It's a nice and quiet motor. Very consistent stitch. It's going through that leather like butter. I'm going to remove this just so you can see it. Very nice consistent stitch. It's not struggling at all to go through. Also what I love about this is that it's got a needle positioning motor. So um, when you push the pedal just once, it'll rotate through a full uh, rotation of the needle. You can do a stitch at a time. So I'm just pushing the pedal and letting go really quickly. Just doing a stitch at a time. I'm going to back stitch, stitch at a time. One more time, one more time. Beautiful. And then when you push back on this pedal, it'll raise the needle all the way to the top. And then you can push your presser foot, pull out your material, and cut it. And as you can see, a really nice stitch on the front, on the top side, and also on the back side. So as uh, another example, I just want to show you what it's like stitching around uh, a gusset here. Um, so I've got this circular part just right here, and I'll just show you how it's easier to stitch on a machine that's a cylinder arm because you have this uh, drop off here and you don't have to worry about having a flat table here trying to mess around with the way that you're working. So let's try it out. And there we go. You've got your gussets sewn up. It's a lot easier on a cylinder arm machine than it would be on a flatbed. Let me tell you, this has made my life so much easier. You still have to work the, the leather around the needle, but man, it's way less of a struggle than it is on a flatbed machine. And let's just flip this inside out. What you could do as well to make it a lot easier is to skive these edges down so that uh, it's a lot easier and there's less material to stitch around on the edges, but there you go. And that's what a, a cylinder arm is really, really good for is getting in those tight spots and just making it happen and it worked out really, really well. 
Alright, so if you need to switch this thing over to a flatbed machine, honestly it takes like two minutes and I'll just show you quickly how it's done. Just fit it on like that. So there's a couple of nuts and some washers that you put on the underside. Screw it down. And voila, your flatbed attachment is attached. So now that this flatbed attachment is set up and secured, I'm just gonna show you what it's like to sew just like you would on a flatbed machine. You can sew wallets, you can sew journals, flat parts of bags, and like I said before, the distance between the main post and the needle is massive. And I can sew my bag so much easier than I could on a smaller flatbed machine. So let's, uh, let's do some sewing. is to get a machine that is a cylinder arm with a flatbed attachment if you're gonna get your first machine. It's really, really versatile. You can do your wallets, you can do your you know, flat bags, you can do your journals, your belts. Um, but then when you have to get to those tight spaces in a bag or whatever you're making with gussets or round you know, corner stitching, the cylinder arm is a huge, huge, huge help. So, if you're looking to get a, a sewing machine, I highly recommend the Texo 5100 for heavier weight material or the Texo 2700 uh, for lighter weight material, which is just as good for performing. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate you watching. Like I said, I hope this helps. Uh, like, comment, uh, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And I just want to thank you all for watching. All right, guys, have a great day. Spend it with your friends and family, and keep crafting. And let me see what you guys come up with. Talk to you later. Bye.